traders. It's Anthony here. I'm looking at the Australian dollar paired with the USD. Let's just go out and I'll show you what I've marked up here. We'll go out to a weekly. Okay. What we've got on this chart is this green candle that I've marked up here. Weekly bearish order block. Shaded red. Okay, that's it there. That's on the weekly. And the other thing we have on the weekly is lower highs, lower lows. This is bearish. Break of market structure. And I'm looking for a short, given that it's trading into this this the key level here, distribution level. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just go down now to the daily. I mean, it's been pushing up, but, you know, if we pan out a little bit or zoom out, Okay, lower highs, lower lows, break of market structure, daily time frame. Yeah, I mean, it's rallied, it's pushed up in two, but uh, have a look at this. We've got this candle here, this green candle. There's a couple of things. There's, well, there's this, I'll just grab that. Okay, what I'm picking up here is this green candle, that one. This is a uh, the high of this green candle. The low, pulling it through, and you've got this nested order block, bearish order block, on the daily time frame. You've also got this candle back in here, bearish order block. So what I'm saying is, in a nutshell, is this is trading into big resistance. Weekly, daily order blocks, bearish. I mean, it's rallied into it, but we've had this huge displacement to the downside now with the pullback. All right, we've got a weak dollar and uh, strength in the Aussie. However, these news events cause vol volatility, but they don't really change order flow in terms of uh, you know smart money and smart money at money are definitely invested bearish if you go out to the monthly and the weekly you'll see that this is in a bearish trend all right so the volatility caused by the uh, you know calendar events pushes price around on the lower time frames but uh, my my take on this is um, or my bias is bearish all right so we've got this candle here uh, marked up whoops hang on this green candle in here, bearish order block. This bearish order block back in here I haven't marked up. And then we've got this weekly as well, nested. Let's just go down now to the daily, uh, four hour. And we can see here, right? This green candle right here, four hour, order block, bearish. And this red candle where you can see my pointer, see the gap candle on the left? candle on the right all right so we've got this four hour imbalance i'll just name it 4h this is a target for price to reach into to rebalance and it's, it's doing that right now um when we go down to the lower time frame we've got this 30 minute imbalance as well so we've got this nested these these higher time frame um, levels here there's this big resistance i guess is what i'm trying to say We've got this displacement down, and now the retrace into it to rebalance. So if we go down to maybe a 30, yeah, okay, 30 minute. We've got this thin candle here, this red candle. Candle on the left, candle on the right. We've got to pick up these uh, levels. The low on the left, the candle high on the right. 30, uh, 30 minute imbalance through here, right? So I'm looking at this crossover nested with this guy what do we got what is that that's the uh okay four hour and th and 30 minute with a uh four hour order block there so this crossover between the order block and these imbalances to me i think that's uh that's as far as this travels now look i could be completely wrong it might blow through here and 
and uh, it trades north. I'm not interested. I don't want to be buying into that. That's, that's what I'm saying. Big resistance. There's a lot going on here. That's a target. And I guess the other thing that we can see now on this chart is, and I'm always a little bit wary when I see a double top. And we got that right there. I see a double top and a spike up. Yeah, I mean, you could argue there's a triangle, you know, ascending triangle. I, I don't really go for the triangle so much. I'm more interested in, like, when I see, I'll just take out that last one. When I see a double top with a spike above, it's telling me that there's liquidity being set up above here. And the spike potentially takes it out. Now, you want to be careful, guys. Yeah, I mean, it could meander on a little bit higher. But uh, I don't want to be buying into that. I guess that's what I'm saying. So, and also it's Thursday. Thursday and Friday, end of the week, I really don't want to be trading. I will scalp. And I've got um, three or four scalps running at the moment. Four of them, I think. Uh, lower time frame, five minute, 15 minute. They're, they're on. Um, but you don't want to get too serious. You don't want to be trading higher time frames, you know, into the end of the week. So with this, I'm going to be looking out for, I think my bias is bearish given the higher time frames bearish and we're running into this big level here. I want to see this and wherever it happens, I mean, if it happens here, it's ranging, it's starting to range and then I want to see it hit, hit stops and, and roll over. And then the entry point is going to be on the break and retest of the, of the low of this, this range. Now that could happen here, it could trade further up and, and we get it there. But wherever it happens, I guess, that's what I'm going to be looking out for. So keep an eye out into the end of the week and Monday in particular for a possible short. And that's the kind of price action I want to see playing out bit of a range, volatility above and below, and then we, we get a, a break to the downside, retested fail of the low of the range on the 15 minute or the 30 minute time frame. So that's, that's what I'm looking out for, guys. So that's my take on the Aussie dollar, and uh, I hope that's been helpful and given you some ideas. And with that, uh, look, I'd love you to comment, definitely share the love and uh, um, your your, um, your ideas would be more than welcome okay so with that i hope you have a great day safe trading and we'll see you in the next one